you just got selected for a random uh a random, uh, randomly selected to go through the metal detector. Okay. And you know what? I appreciate it. Absolutely. Given the times that we're in, they're working very hard to keep us safe. Cons so considering you know, the fact we were just like a couple months from some dumbass or, yeah, that, bringing yeah. a gun here. Yeah. So you know, when you're asked to do these things, just cooperate. It was very quick. It was painless. I walked through the thing. It was no problem. And uh, the folks there were very courteous. He just walked up to me and he said. Sir, you've been randomly selected to walk through the metal detector. Would you mind walking with me, please? And I did, and it was no problem. And you know what? Thanks, Disney, for trying to keep us safe. I Absolutely. It. So we just upgraded to annual pass holder, baby! <laughs> Woo! And we're getting ready to hit the, park. hit the Mickey for the first time. Okay. Pretend your finger is like a slide. It's going down the slide. Are you ready? Okay, hey, let's do it. I'm not sure if they're linked yet to it. Right there, sweetie. You just gotta have the magic pad and I'll be able to tell you their time. Leave it there, it's coming. It's gotta be green, green, green. Yay! There we go. Yay! Okay, go with mommy. Thank you. We just got in. That is one big old golf ball. Alright, let's move out of the Mini Mickey. Her hair's already messed up. Of course it is. You see Pluto? Looky there. Golf balls. No. Hey Joseph, look there's there's a stitch book. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, and he's wearing a Santa hat. I think I'm in love. I have never seen that many people waiting for Spaceship Earth. It's 20 minutes. Yeah. But look, I've always just like walked right on. Gage, can you say that again? We're at Disney World. Yes, day, we, day one. Day one. Can we just hit pause now so we don't have to go like anywhere close to the last day? That's a good idea. And then we can just park hop, you know, through you're, time. You're right. But we are heading to our fast passes with Figment. That's right. It smells like a sugar. Curious to see Josie's reaction to Figment this time because last time she, she was loved him. she was like all about Figment. Eric Idol and Figment. Oh, Robin Williams. It's kind of warm in here. It's very warm in here. I'm such a little stinker. Okay, first ride of the trip. Alright, here we go. Journey into the imagination. Okay, here we go. Journey you into ready, the imagination. You ready, Josie? With Big Man. Chairman of the Imagination Institute. I'm going to try see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. This is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. They're sight, sound, smell, touch, boogie boogie go, and taste. Yeah. Taste like chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, no, I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. Figments, you are not to interfere with the tour. Our first stop is the sound lab. We'll begin by testing your hearing with a series of tones. Left ear, right ear. Left, right. What? Figment, I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. But now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. Wings. Continuing now, if I may, in a calm, scientific 
scientific, figment-free manner, the things we see with our eyes can control the eyes of the imagination. Uh, let's begin by using the eye chart to test your vision. Now, all together, if you would please read line three and hit the chat. With your eyes and you can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you can see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing figment. One spark of light can make your fancy. Your mind is more than what your eyes see. Your sense of sight can make your fancy fly. There's more to sight than meets the eye. Let's turn your imagination loose and anything can happen. shows that smells often trigger the imagination, uh -oh, especially smell when pleasant, lamb. familiar smells come into play. So stinky. Figment, this is not a good time. It's always a good time to use your imagination, so let the good times roll! Woo! Uh -oh. You win one Figment, don't! Uh, reservation is at 150 so I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it we'll see we'll get daddy on it again at some point I'm sure okay guys I just rode soaring around the world for the first time I have tears in my eyes it's so flipping good I have oh seriously I have never oh big thumbs up Disney big thumbs up so Gooch has a has a rider swap pass for uh, Soren later, so we'll get him on a little bit later. But right now we got to book it over to Italy for Via Napoli for some pizza. Yum 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 yum. Hello, World Showcase. How I missed you. Oh, back there, Cronut Disney. Sprinkle me, Disney. 
It's a beautiful day. It's very warm. A lot warmer than I thought it was going to be. Hello there, Jolly O UK. Oh, Raisin Crown. One of my absolute favorite places to eat ever. If you're lucky enough to get a like a, a terrace table. Eight, yeah, a terrace table around eight like eight thirty or so, which I've done. You have a great view of illuminations from the patio. It's phenomenal. Twining's tea. Good. Good man. You care for a spot of tea? And you see they're kind of decked out for the holidays. I love that chandelier. I wouldn't mind that chandelier in my house. Alright, so here is the menu for Via Napoli. Like cocktails and wine, they got that too. And then there is the kids' menu. Ooh, Aquia Fresco. Oh, that sounds really good. And they brought crayons and a little coloring activity for Josie, so she is happy, happy, happy. You don't have to put it back in the box, you can leave it out. Okay, so first impressions, this is a gorgeous restaurant. I love the motifs on the wall. We literally are sitting like right here in the corner in kind of sort of a semi-private spot. I love those half moon windows and I love the chandelier. So Gooch, what do you... What are you thinking so far? I mean, I know we haven't eaten anything yet, but what do you think about the restaurant? I will say it's, it's kind of loud. It is loud. Uh, and there's a lot of people, but a lot of people means it's probably good because people wouldn't come here if it wasn't good. Mm -hmm. um, the large pizza apparently is 20 inches, so it's like... Yeah, but it's either that or like a, a, yeah, or a handmade. And, it, and, it, and you wind up saving more than if you get just, three. Just getting the large. So. Three, well, or get, yeah, getting, instead of getting three personal three persons, personals. Yeah. So, uh, but, but I mean, so far so good. The service has been good. The, the way the uh, cast members have been, have been great so far. Uh, they got Josie a coloring, a coloring thing. And they even got her her own little kids' cup, which she is now decorating. Yeah. Um, hey, why not? Why not? Um, I, yeah, so far. I was. I was uh, very impressed with um, our server, Antonio. Um, they asked at the front if anyone had any allergies, and I told them right away that I had an aller uh, allergy to radishes. And so Antonio, when he saw that, um, went to go check right away with the, uh, with the chef to see if anything had radish in it. And he came back and pointed out one of the salads, which we weren't going to get a salad today anyway. So, uh, But I was very impressed that he took the time to come and he's cute as a button too. But yeah, I really, I love, I really like this place. I like the. Yeah. It is definitely loud, but I like the. I like the decor a lot. And Josie loves the crayons. Well, of course she loves the crayons. That's how she rolls. Because she is a Disney bean. So this is our appetizer. Mozzarella caprese. Too bad we don't have any balsamic vinegar to put on top of it. Because that would set it off perfect. Yeah, it would. So as you can see, that is the, uh, what is remaining of the mozzarella caprese. Alright, Gooch, what were your thoughts? It's good. It was, it was really good. It was a nice little light appetizer. It was very refreshing and it kind of curbed it kind of curbed the hunger. You do it. It's your life. It was uh, it's a tomato slice of tomato with a piece of mozzarella cheese with olive oil on top. How can you go wrong? Yeah, exactly. Well, 
It'd been better if they had put some balsamic vinegar on it. But but I thought I thought it was really good. And uh, the olive oil that they drizzle on it is fantastic. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the huge pepperoni pizza that the Bean family is about to devour. Oh yeah. The pizza. There is a piece left. I don't know if Gooch is going to eat it. I don't think I'm going to eat any more because I just picked the pepperoni off of that one. <laughs> it was really good. Um, it wasn't the best pizza I've ever had. I know this sounds weird. Um, and him and I were discussing this. The pizza, the pizza sauces. Well, first of all, we had to wait over an hour for it. Almost an hour. 20, 45 minutes to an hour. Yes, and it came out lukewarm, so it wasn't like a like a piping hot pizza. And the sauce is really, really sweet. So it's just I, I don't know. It was, but it was good. I mean, you could have given me, you know, cardboard and, and cardboard and Chef Boyardee at this point, and I would have been fine because it was so hot. Josie has had three pieces, three pieces, and like that is. A, that's a piece that was actually cut in half. So if that tells you how big the pizza, the pizza pieces are. So Gooch, final verdict? Of course you're a little biased because you used to make pizzas. I'm, I'm, bi I'm biased. Um, I mean, I think you can get better at a local mom and uh, uh, Pizza place on the corner. Um, the fact that it came out with warm after, after we've been waiting so long kind of was disappointing. So I think we definitely would try it again though. This you know, I think you know they're busy and I get that and it's you know a lot of people here. But at the same time, you know, if you have if you wait for a long time for something, you expect it to be fresh when it comes out. And not that it wasn't fresh, it was just kind of lukewarm. It's like it was sitting there for a few for a little while before anybody brought it out. And I definitely agree with you that pe that that sauce is really sweet. It's too sweet. I like a spicy, tangy sauce. Well, a tangy sauce, yeah. But it's definitely better than, you know, like, you know, Tony's Town Square, but, you know. Well, yeah, but that's not really difficult. Yeah. But, yeah. You don't have to take it from us because Little Miss has literally down three pieces of pizza in record time. It's still a thumbs up. It's still good. But, I don't know if it gets two thumbs up, but at least one. It, yeah, it, it, it'll give, but I wouldn't give it a thumb in the middle. Well, here, here's, a, here's a thing. I feel like I could have gone up to the quick service and gotten the same thing hotter. True. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Ah! Thank you very much. Not, not only could I have gone to the quick surface and gotten the same thing hotter, I would have paid less. That is true. So, But with annual passes, at least we get 20% off of this now. Well, yeah, but I mean, you know what I'm saying. I, I know what you're saying. So, so we're in agreement. It's good, but not the best we've ever had. Uh, I, I mean, in Italy, I would, between the two, I would definitely go to Italia. Yeah, we love Tutto, we love Tutto Italia. It's all gone. All right. As you can see, Josie was a fan. Here. And it's all over her hands. Okay, so as you can see, this was our bill. But uh, we paid out of pocket for this one. We didn't use our dining credits. Uh, so uh, if you are annual pass holder, you get 10% here. And not bad for three people eating eating a bit eating a large pizza italy may be my favorite pavilion i love it and all the topiaries i should get up on that stage and start singing Happiness to sail in the gondola. Munching, munching on a pizza with lots of mozzarella. Happiness. Oh, happiness. Oh, happiness. <laughs>
If you know Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, you know what that song is. Yeah. Love the columns. Totally get me on video after that. Uh, nah. Yes, we did. <laughs> You'll be on YouTube later. Alright. Italian gelato. Yummy. Alright, uh, feels so much better after food. Yeah. I was feeling a little thicky. Yeah. We, he and I really hadn't had anything except for like a little bit of trail mix. Yeah, trail mix uh, and Josie had only had cheeses. Well, you know, it's a good thing I have, you know, plenty of uh, stored up energy. Oh, God. You said it, not me, baby. Hey. Oh, here's... It's pretty obvious. I don't think I have to say it. Yeah. But we are in the Germany Pavilion now. 